Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am painting up not one, but two statues of two iconic characters that I absolutely love. And these designs are from Vengeance Studios. I've got a link below to their Patreon in the description. And today's characters are none other than Daredevil and Kingpin. So yeah, these two designs come from Vengeance Studios and they have an uncanny resemblance of uh, Charlie Cox and uh, Vincent D'Onofrio from the Netflix series. And I printed these in quarter scale and I printed them on my Lanat uh, deck printer and the base 8K printer. And on the Kingpin model, there was actually a secondary base uh, with a cityscape and I did not print that. So with these characters, um, you got one character who is mainly predominantly a white color and another character who's predominantly a black color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you ways to enhance those colors because to, for me, and I think a lot of other painters out there, these are two of the hardest colors to actually paint because they're just so stark, saturated, uh, and they're just very flat. So, hey, and I wanna point out in this video, I did not go over every single process that I did because I'm working with two figures here and this video would have been like two or three times as long. So if you have any questions on anything, there's the comment section below, ask away and I'll answer those questions accordingly. So before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell over there while you're at it. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. On with the video. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Daredevil here. And Daredevil is pretty much uh, all primered, uh, ready to go. Uh, we're just gonna put a whole black coat all over him. And then we're gonna kinda go from there. The black that I'm gonna be using for this is this Createx right here, which is uh, just, a, just a basic black. And the reason I'm using it is because I got more of it than my uh, Vallejo and uh, this will go a lot further. Okay, so it's all blackened and uh, you see that sheen on it. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna seal it with this right here, this uh, Color Max Clear Flat. Uh, simply, I just want to uh, get that sheen off from it. And the reason I'm sealing it is because I wanna be able to handle it whenever I'm doing some painting and stuff on it. And uh, right now, unsealed, when I start handling it, I'm basically gonna rub the paint off. I understand this right here is not available overseas in some of the areas and everything. And I'm really looking for you guys for something that's comparable to this, uh, because this is some great stuff right here to seal your model with. So uh, bear with me and I'm looking for something else for you guys, but uh, let's go ahead and seal this and get it dry. And then we're gonna start uh, on the other parts of it. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a hair dryer and just kind of going over it a little bit. That way, in case there's any type of bubbles or anything like that from the sealer, um, it actually breaks those bubbles and flattens out the finish. But I'll go ahead and use the hair dryer to kind of accelerate the drying time a little bit. And then I'll let it sit up for a couple hours before I start handling it and do anything with it because the paint's still going to be soft underneath. And then the uh, sealer's still going to be soft on top. So I want to make sure this is good and uh, solid and hard and dry uh, before I start touching it and doing anything else with it. So um, that's a good practice. Uh, just don't want to get too close to the uh, to the paint with the hair dryer because you can start cooking your paint if you're not careful. And uh, Lord, whatever you do, don't use a heat gun. Uh, use a hair dryer. Stay back a little bit from it, and uh, you know that way you can help uh, speed up the drying time a little bit. So while Daredevil's drying, we're moving on to Kingpin here. Um, I've got a gray working coat of primer underneath this and I kind of just skimmed it with white primer because his uh, suit is completely stark white. And so we're getting ready to paint him a solid color white using this Tamiya right here, this flat white. And then uh, we're gonna seal this one the same way. And then we're gonna start on the uh, different textures and shading and everything like that on this one as well. And now we're going to start laying the base coats for the skin tones.
All right, so now we got the skin tones uh, in place, the base colors. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a little bit of shading on these guys uh, with a little bit of a pink tone, pink flush tone that I mix up. Uh, and we're gonna put it in some of the eyes, the uh, high points, the cheeks, the ears, things like that. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do with the head sculpts, I'm going to mix a little bit of this cheap craft acrylic paint, water it down really, really good, get a really good uh, watered down uh, substance here, and then I'm going to do a little bit of glazing onto the uh, eyes and the nose and different parts of the head. So yeah, you want to kind of dab a little bit in there, get a lot of that off, and then kind of go into like areas like the lips and then the eyes and different recesses of the head itself where a lot of the pink, um, the, uh, a lot of the pink uh, under the skin like representing blood will be. You could take a sponge and dab the excess off. Then once you kind of mess around with it for a little bit, get your desired effect then you can move on to the eyes all right and here we go with the eyes just going to use an off-white all right and now we'll do matt murdoch here Well, I thought I was filming. Apparently my camera was not on, but what I went ahead and I done was I uh, painted in the pupils on the eyes on both of them. I did a little bit of a gray pupil here on Matt Murdock's head because he is blind. Uh, and I did put the eyebrows and painted his hair. So what I'm gonna do next is, uh, Kingpin is pretty much done. Um, he's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the black onto the masked head right here uh, and um, then we're going to go ahead and uh, do a wash on Matt's hair and uh, finish up the heads. All right so the next thing I'm going to do is put a black wash on to Daredevil's head here. All right, so one cool thing that I've been working on here lately, and that's uh, five o'clock shadows. And so what I'm gonna do is I shaved off some pastels that are right here, some black pastels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply these on here now this has an actual raised stubble you know, sculpted into the face. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the stubble on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mix this with a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm gonna blend it with uh, this little cosmetic brush right here. All right, so I got it on here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my brush and I'm gonna kinda blend it a little bit here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this brush I'm going to kind of blend it by dabbing it into onto the uh, the stubble and there you can see it kind of fades a little bit kind of fades into the five o'clock shadow look that way it looks a little bit more natural and so the last thing I'll do for the Matt Murdock head is I'll use a little bit of this khaki brown and dry brush some of the highlights onto the hair. Okay, so the next thing we have are the uh, gauntlets or the roped hands, I guess you could say for Daredevil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the ropes first and then I'm going to uh, go in with the black and paint the black later. And as you can see here on the tips, it looks like there's some blood so it looks like he's been beating the hell out of somebody. Um, and then we're gonna put a little bit of blood on there and uh, we're gonna attach him to the Daredevil body. 
So for the ropes, I'm going to use this tan yellow here. All right, now while these are still wet, I'm going to go and uh, do a little off-white and kind of blend them in together. And it's going to create kind of a, uh, a real dirty white. Okay, so now I've got the ropes basically where I want them as far as the tint. I'm going to go back in and blacken the areas of the uh, glove right here. And then I'm going to put a black wash over this. And now we're going to put a black wash all over this. So now we're waiting on that to dry. I'm going to use this leather brown right here to do a little bit of dry brushing on the boots and places on the, uh, the pants and on the belt. All right, so now that's all dry, I'm gonna use a little bit of off-white right here to do a little bit of highlights and dry brushing on the ropes. All right, so on Kingpin, he's pretty simple and I didn't go through a lot of the processes because it is simple. Um, on the white here, all I did was uh, just painted it a base white and then on the, the shirt up here, I just painted it a base black and painted the handkerchief a red. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and go and airbrush some light gray into like the seams and then the folds onto the, uh, onto the body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this white pearl right here. If I don't knock the statue down, I'm going to use this white pearl right here from Aztec. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint the vest a uh, pearlescent type color, but it's going to be flat. I'm going to actually uh, put a, uh, a flat sealer on there and uh, it's going to look pretty good. And then we're going to put some gold accents on there and I think King Pim will be uh, just about finished. And on the bases, I'm going to, uh, it's already primered. I'm going to keep the top a gray color and then the brick right here, I'm actually going to paint a fire red. I'm going to do a little bit of color in there and then I'm going to go back into the grout. Then I'm going to put a big black wash all over it and uh, detail it up real nice and neat and uh, maybe do some little highlighting with the airbrush. So now that we have the bases all painted up with the gray, with the brick, the multicolor, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a black wash on both of these. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now that we have everything in place on the bases is we're going to use these two grays right here. We're going to use this one first and this one second to do a little bit of accenting and a little bit of highlights on the top of the base. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of this gory red and I've already started on it. I started making like little blood splatters on the gloves and everything and you can use that by using one of these little sea sponges and just basically uh, kind of dipping it into the paint and then kind of back on your um, paper towel and just kind of you know putting it in random spots. Now another thing you can do is you can use a toothbrush to make a splatter effect on this by putting your toothbrush into the paint and just you know, flicking it a little bit. And uh, I'm not gonna do that on this one because I'm satisfied with the results on this. And maybe we'll work on that in a future video.
I'm going to take a little bit of that blood and actually kind of stipple it on the boots. Kind of looks like it's dripping from his hands. Uh, and a little bit on the base here. And then I'm going to weather up the faces a little bit. Do a little bit more weathering here on the body. And I think we're going to call this project done. All right, everybody, I hope you got something out of this video. And don't forget, if you like the content, consider subscribing to my Patreon account. Uh, we got a private Discord where you can go over and talk all things printing and painting. And I do have two new members this week, Aaron Brock and Mike Cox. And as usual, everybody, stay safe out there. Don't forget, get out, create something. Print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video, we'll see you. I woke up this morning, not one, but two failed prints. Damn it. <laughs>